It's time for the big one. Rangers against Celtic, the old firm derby. Hello everybody and welcome to episode 2 of my FIFA 23 career mode with Celtic and our second game of the Premier League season. Our first away game of the season is a trip to Ibrox for the most hostile fixture that we will take part in this season. We're coming off the back of a draw against Southampton. If you haven't seen that episode yet, go and check it out. Um, yeah, coming into this game of the drawing, our first game, looking for our first win. Can we get it in the best possible place? But before we do all that, a little bit of uh, socialising, a little bit of communication. We've got two players that aren't quite happy. Atate is disappointed that he's left out. I'm just going to say, you know, after I take the squad, it's a big squad. There are a lot of midfielders better than you. So yeah, star felt. I'm going to say, let's say you'll get that chance. You won't get that chance, but we'll go. Oh no, no, we'll go. We'll think about it. You're not getting him, mate. You're not getting him. I'm sorry. We've got Nathan Ake. Okay. We've got whoever the other centre-back is. Carter Vickers. That's the guy. Yeah, you're not getting in, mate, unless something seriously bad happens. Right, we haven't made any signings since last time, so we're just going to get straight into it. Uh, we've got the same team as last time. We're not going to make any changes. I know we didn't get the result we wanted against Southampton, but I still feel that this is the best eleven available to us. So we're going to keep that 4-3-3. All personnel pretty much the same. Um, Rangers lining up with a slightly more advanced 4-3-3 with our field in behind Morelos. So yeah, obviously his runs are going to be something that we're going to have to watch out for. Um, I've tried to tweak it a little bit so that our defensive line is a bit deeper because obviously we were quite open and exposed against Southampton. So hopefully that will be improved today. Um, yeah, I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's get straight into it for our first Old Firm derby of this save. Celtic Rangers friends strangers something dangerous I can't go on anymore but it's time for Rangers against Celtic they don't get to play each other multiple times this season just twice and sometimes in cups as well if they meet and stuff like that you can see why I'm not a professional commentator. Anyway, here we go. Ah, oh, fuck, fuck this. Let's just get into it, shall we, bloody hell? Donny van der Beek. Oh, crunch. Literally a minute and a half into the game. And we got a yellow card already. Ryan Kent absolutely smashing Donny van der Beek. Giving us a taster of what the next 90 minutes is going to be all about. Let's see if we can actually do something, shall we? No, I'm just going to pass it back as Shimakas brings the ball forward. What have we got? Wilfred Zaha trying to turn, but that's not going to come to anything. And now Rangers can try and break. I feel like I'm building up to something that's going to be very, very mediocre. Let's just stick with it. Martial. No, no, let's just, let's just give up. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, fuck. Hey, did you see that? Oh, my God. Absolutely wiped him out. It's only a yellow for Zaha. Bloody hell, let's look at this again. Jesus Christ, son. <laughs> this is a proper derby, let me tell you. The game has died down a little bit since those early crunches. Let's see if we can get something going here. Zaha. Might have to shoot here. Wolfred Zaha. Almost. Almost good effort, might have been a little bit too central. Let's have another look. Proper whip on that. It just goes over. I think the keeper probably had it covered anyway. But decent effort. It's showing some signs of life. The game has gone a bit yeah, stale since the early stages. Let's say don't dive in. Don't get yourself a second yellow. That'd be stupid. I'm now aware that I've got one player on a yellow all game. And knowing my a tendency to go sliding in that's not a good sign as Ryan Jack is through and that's a good save again by Joe Hart you can tell that the goal's not scripted because the keeper actually makes a decent save or decent effort to save it here's Scott Arfield with another shot that's blocked oh fucking hell clear it clear it oh my days right Vander but what was that what was that man just giving it back to him here's Kent Still going, Ryan Kent plays it across, just get it clear, my goodness me. Make 
just keeps coming back, keeps coming back. Again, Ryan Kent, where's, where's Juranovic? And luckily, Ryan Kent doesn't do anything with that. Bloody hell, West Ham's on Cody Gakpo. My goodness. Right, Wolf Zaha, the main man, turns his man inside out. Tavernier, nowhere to be seen. Wilfred Zaha running at the defence has chopped back, assess our options. Back to Van der Bay. can we let fly? Oh, good, nice pass back. The shots in this game seem to be really underpowered, which is a shame, even if you absolutely leather it. It does nothing, which is a shame. Martial tries to find Jota, it's crowded out. Oh, McGregor, it's not the best clearance in the world. Comes to the other McGregor on our side. Martial plays it in, headed away. But head tennis going on, back to Jota. Turns his man, shit, goalkeeping again. And we lead the old firm derby. And it's Jota with two goals in two games. And we have lived off. Is that the first time we've led? Or did we lead in the, I can't remember. Yeah, I think that's the first time we led because we came back twice against Southampton. What a, I say what a finish. It's dreadful goalkeeping yet again. I mean, why, why is the ball's over there, fella? I mean, come on. It, it does seem like goals are pre-scripted. If, if a goal's going in, then the keeper doesn't quite know what to do in relation to that. It's, that, that probably doesn't make any sense. But who cares? We are leading. We're 1-0 up. Let's try and keep it going until half-time. Let's not concede. Straight away, we can get to that. Yeah, fuck it. It comes Ryan Jack, though. Are we going to hold it to half time? Morelos. Come on, get a tackle in, get it. Oh, for God's sake. Again, terrible goalkeeping for a goal. We can't even keep a lead for like two minutes. And it's that guy, the guy that I only ever see him when he gets sent off. I swear he gets like, I, I don't watch much Scottish football, you probably work that out by now. But I swear that guy gets like 10 red cards a season. But anyway. Curls it, that's safe, Joe Hart should be saving that. Should be doing a lot better, but I reckon there's something in the mechanics that basically just prevents keepers from, yeah, just trying to save the ball when there's a goal. I don't know. Anyways, one all, we couldn't keep a lead. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go into half time level, which is a bit of a ball ache. Rangers looking threatening, start of the second half. We've managed to, I'll say, get the ball back. We've lost it straight away again, but there we go. Juranovic, van der Beek, what can he do? There's a ball onto Zaha. Yes, what about the first touch? It's perfect. Wilfred Zaha gets away and scores. 2-1. More terrible goalkeeping, but we don't care. Wilfred Zaha with his, that his first Celtic goal. I think it might be. This, this is how good I am. I can't even remember who scored in the last game. That's how efficient I am. I mean, it's it's a good finish in the corner. I wouldn't say it was... Uh, yeah, I mean, he does well to take it away from McGregor. I think he gets a little touch on it, to be fair. But yeah, it does well to get it in the corner. And uh, we've got our lead back. We've got our lead back. We've got our lead back. That's the worst chant ever. And I'm going to stop. Jota on the run down that right-hand side. Barisic wanted to close him down, then decided to run off over there, get the cross out. Marshall went a bit too early. Win that header, don't win that header. And Ryan Jack brings it away, and now it's Rangers turn to counter-attack. We're all over the place, bloody hell. Ryan Kent, Juranovic, can he get back? Let's get over there, crunch. That stopped it. <laughs> Yellow card, I feel like the spirit has died down a little bit since the early stages, so I thought I'd bring the old, um, yeah, bring the old hacks back, why not, absolutely scything him down, or we'll take the yellow card, that's fine, it's not in a, a too threatening position, let's see what I can do with it, it's having it, over the free kick, swings it in, we head it away, can we retain possession, no we can't, and now Rangers are camped, they've signed Joel Linton, I suppose they're in the Premier League, that kind of makes sense, now we're going to bring it away, Zaha, absolutely blistering pace, down that left hand side, Wilfred Zaha, he's having a game of his own down here, they can't get anywhere near him, check back, swing it in, and um, yeah, if we can actually find somebody from these crosses, that would be great, the Rangers again dicking around in their own box, they're doing that way too much, they've been caught out already with McGregor. 
as clearance. But yeah, they're taking some liberties back there. Zaha on the run again. He's been outstanding again today. Shifts inside, plays it to Turnbull, and that was never going to work, was it? Let's be fair. Zaha once again, and the referee's blown for something, and Anthony Martial's been booked. What? What's that for? Unless it was for, it wasn't for that, you know, when the Rangers players were messing about. The Martial, I think he went in for a slide, whether it was for that, that was like 20 minutes ago. That's weird. Anyway, I'm going to make some changes because Martial and Zaha both on yellow cards. I don't want them getting suspended for the next game, so I'll bring Yakimakis and Abada on. I love saying that name, Yakimakis. Um, we'll also bring Aaron Moy on for Turnbull because Turnbull's pretty. Yeah, he's not been good for me so far, to put it kindly. More subs. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if this is the first highlight since the last set of subs because literally nothing has happened. I'm going to bring Taylor. I'm going to do a bit of a risk here. I'm going to bring Taylor on for Juranovic. She's on a yellow. I know Taylor's a left back, primarily. Um, but yeah, obviously I don't want... Oh, Juranovic giving it away. I don't want him to get sent off either. We're looking a bit at sixes and sevens here. Let's, yeah, sort of, yeah. Nice one. Okay, get stuck in there, son. That's another yellow card. That's all right. Stopped an attack. Don't worry about it. How many yellow cards is that now? It's got to be about four in it, at least. Look at that. No messing about. Crunch. There we go. Last two changes being made. The Rangers have now got a free kick. Once again, just outside the box. Tavern here to take it. Swings it in there. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, I might just have had a Kirby Enthusiasm meme there. Alfredo Morelos makes it 2-2. Oh, God. There I am praising Ake's challenge like it's stopped an attack. And then they go and score. Great. Morelos, oh, to be fair, Joe Hart can do a lot about that. Morelos just gets his head on it, gets a little nick on there. Perfect place. Nothing Joe Hart could do. And uh, we're throwing it away. Throwing it away with our own, well, my stupidity, really. And we might be heading for our second 2 2 draw in a row, unless we can pull something out of the bag here. But now all of our best players have gone off. It seems a bit less likely, but it's a barter coming forwards. Whips it in there. Oh, so close. Right, that should be that now. There we go, full time. Oh, God. We were minutes away. From a Derby Day victory, it's the Rangers fans cheering. They've won a point and we've lost two. They've gained a point, we've lost two. Disappointing day. So close, so freaking close. And then I decide to go all kamikaze. And uh, Alfredo Morelos for both goals. Yeah, really, really disappointing. Not to, to wrap up the win there. Right, so that leaves us in the middle of the table. Along with Rangers, we are still ahead of them, of course. Nothing strange on that front. Two points for two games. Yeah, it's, uh, we just need to work on trying to see these games out. You know, make sure we don't have any defensive lapses. And I've got to stop making stupid side tackles that put us in danger. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully we can rectify that. Although our next game's against Liverpool. So, yeah, <laughs> we might have to wait a while. Uh, but, yeah, to, I mean, at least we haven't lost yet. I suppose that's that's one positive okay right time for our second game of this episode this will be the last one the EFL Cup tie against Brentford I have changed quite a lot of the team as you can see we've still got Chotter in there he's going to be our main man uh, we have changed a few of the players around so we've got the likes of Starfelt, Taylor, uh, Maeda, Furuhashi up front Aaron Moy gets a game as well so just rotating trying to rest some of the players and give other players a chance as well so yeah we're, we're going to play the highlights of this one we're not going to play the full game because I want, I want to see what this is about I'm really interested to see whether this could be something that we might use going forward and what it actually does okay so this whole pre-match build up thing is normal so what happens now they kick off and then is it going to go oh yeah it's going to go to a highlight okay so free kick for Celtic third minute what can we do? I'm just going to give us a little countdown as well. Right, cards of Vickers, where can we play? I'm on my loft. This. <laughs> that does not bode well. Okay, next one. Cross.
housing opportunity for Brentford. So you can have the option of just playing your attacking highlights or both. I've gone for both. So let's see if we can defend this attack. Here's Gilbert coming forward. Get a tackle in, get a foot in. That hasn't worked. Get a foot in, come on. And in the end, thankfully, it was just a back pass. Right, now we've got an attack. Now I've just got a text message, which is great. All right, um, Aaron Moy, bringing it forwards. What can we do? Just run. Try and play a pass. Furuhashi's in. Straight at the goalkeeper, which is not good. Right, now we've got a counter-attack. Second half already. The game is flying by. Right, I mean, what, what am I supposed to do with that? You play that ball into me, of course I'm going to lose it. You play me a freaking hospital ball. What am I going to do with that ball? Ridiculous. Now we've got another attack. Jota, three, two, one, let's go. Right, again. What the hell am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> oh man, right, still nil nil. Oh, and now Brentford's counter attack. They get loads of space. Look at that, they've got absolutely loads of space. I'd have three players on me. It does. It does definitely feel like this mode is biased towards the computer. I don't want to sound like I'm moaning, but they put the CPU in far more favourable positions than they put you in. Right, let's see with this last one. Right, so we're counter attack. Okay, we've got a little bit more space this time. I'll give them that. Right, that's... Oh, fuck me. Right. Okay, I got a feeling this... This, uh, <laughs> this mode isn't going to work very well for me. And also, they, I think also the fact that once you lose it, that's it. It's... Uh, okay. Anyway, I think if we've gone to extra time, if we've gone to penalties, it's nil-nil. It's been a terrible game where neither team has taken their chances at all. It's been a horrific game of football. And I think we're now going to settle it. Is it via a penalty shootout? Yes, it is. All right, so no messed around with extra time, which I'm actually kind of in favour of. There's no point playing 30 minutes on top of 90 minutes. Just go straight to pens. That's what people want to see. All right, it's Johan Visser first for Brentford, and that was a terrible dive. Right, Juranovic steps up first. Supposedly it's a good penalty taker. Let's see what he can do. There we go, top right-hand corner. I think taking penalties seems to be a lot better this year. You haven't got that stupid cursor that you have to move and you have to keep it in that place, which I think is a lot better. Here's Turnbull, smashes it straight in, 2-2. Two -two. Have some of that. Right, Yarmuliuk for butchering that pronunciation makes it 3-2 for Brentford again Hart didn't really die for that one Aaron Moy go on suddenly right in the corner have it keeper couldn't get anywhere near it right here comes Mr Gilbert it's a terrible penalty can we dive over we can just about can we take the lead Maeda against Cox Maeda scores it's 4-3 if we can just save this penalty from Aaron Higgy We'll be through. Can we do it? No, we can't. It's a good pen. It's a crap dive. This is the one. If Furuhashi can score this penalty, which he can't. It's a good penalty as well. Trevitt scores. Right. The sudden death now. We need to stay in this. Every single thing needs to go in for us. Shotter. Mr. Reliable. Can he do it? I mean, the keeper. Well, we're lucky we went the other way because the keeper telegraph that a tiny bit here goes Baptiste that's another chip and it's saved by Joe Hart Greg Taylor to win it right bottom right corner bottom right corner yes lad keep it telegraphs again and we are through to the is it the third round I don't even know I don't even care we've won a game albeit a really crappy highlights game I don't think I'll be playing many of those in future this seems like a, a pretty yeah, I, I, I'm not a fan of this edition. I thought it was going to be really good. But, yeah, whatever. Anyway, we've won a game. Who cares? We finally won a game. It's in the cup against Brentford. But, you know, win's a win, isn't it? Look at that. Shit housing a win on penalties. You love to see it. The best rating player, the red. Start again. The best rated player was a 7.5. 
which tells you all you need to know. Brentford's third best player was a 6.9, which, yeah, just really highlights how crap this game was. And yeah, I definitely won't be using that highlights feature very much in the near future. It's pretty terrible and a bit CPU biased, in my opinion. Maybe I just, maybe I'll just add the wrong end of the stick, I don't know. Anyway, that's going to be everything for this episode. So we finally got our first win, albeit in a cup, in a really scrappy manner. And we bottled a derby. So, uh, yeah, all good. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to end it there. So thank you very much for watching. I really hope that you're still enjoying this series. If you are still enjoying it, please consider hitting the old like button for us. Uh, if you're new around here and you want to see more, why not get subscribed so you can be notified of future videos like this one and anything else to do in the future. Um, I think that's pretty much it. So thanks once again. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you in episode three where we have got the tiny challenge of Liverpool. Fun stuff. See you next time.